Why? Because that's how I like my math. Well done. This week's math question. Michelle Davis wants to park her car and she knows an area of free but illegal parking near North Billet High School Sports Arena in Kentucky. The probability that a car parked in this area will be ticketed by the police is 35%. That the car will be vandalized is 15% and that it will be ticketed and vandalized is 10%. Find the probability that a car parked in this area will be ticketed or vandalized. Oh boy! So, we need to put together events in a union, all right? We have a formula, so let's see. The probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of their intersection. Now, I do need to tell you that some books, more rigorous books, will use this notation, A or B. But most books have gone with the more student-friendly approach, at least the introduction books, of the word or. Let's see where this comes from. The probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So, if we were looking at a Venn diagram, this being A, if we're looking for the probability of all of this, we need to go and first look at the probability of A. All right. And then what are we going to do? We're going to add to it the probability of B. But here we see the intersection has been double counted. It's been counted once for A and once for B. So we need to discount that. And we need to subtract out one of those countings. So that's minus the probability of A and B. And that's how that magic formula comes about, see? It's not, not so magic, but let's get back to our example. Okay, we're looking for the probability that she will get ticketed or that she will be vandalized. This is terrible. So, what's this going to be? This is going to be the probability of a ticket plus the probability of vandalism minus the probability of ticket and vandalism. Oh, boy. So we go and we throw that information up in there. The probability that she's going to get a ticket is 0.35 plus the probability that she's going to get vandalized is 1.5 minus the probability that both happens. Oh, what a bad day. The probability that they both happen is 0.10 or 10% of the time. So what do we do? We go and we Mm, add and subtract, and you have 40%. Now, let's look at this from a different angle. Maybe we wanted to explore that Venn diagram. This one, over here, but with the numbers in it, so it's clear. We can come over here, and we can look at that Venn diagram. Man, this is the tickets. This is the vandalism, all right? So, since the probability of both of them occurring is 10%, and the probability of a ticket is 35%, that means this over here is 25%. This is the probability of ticket and not vandalism. So, then we look at the probability of vandalism and not ticket. That's 0 0.05, low crime rate. Wait, so if I was looking at the complement of these events, there's a 60% chance that she gets off scot-free. Oh, boy. So if we were to look at this, and using this idea that we can add these areas and get the probability that she will be ticketed or vandalized, then we can go and we can add these up. So the probability of ticket or vandalism, it's terrible. That's going to be 0.25 plus 0 0.10 plus 0 0.05. And here we see that's 30. Oh, 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 my. 40% chance of ticketed or vandalized. There's one more way we could see this. 
compliment. I complete you. Well, we can look at that. The probability of A or B, that's going to be 1 minus the probability that neither one of them happen. That's A complement and B complement. I'm writing that C up there, say. This could also be written as A bar and B bar or not A and not B and the and symbol in probability in the more rigorous books would look like this. But wait, there's more. So if we were looking for the probability of, can you see this? Yeah, you can. T or vandalism. Then we can do one minus the probability that she hasn't been vandalized and she hasn't been ticketed. She got away scot-free. This is the probability of no ticket and the probability, whoop not vandalized. Good day. So we can go and we can take a look. One minus what's the probability that she didn't get a ticket and she didn't get vandalized. Well, she gets away with it 60% of the time. So down here, the probability of no ticket and no vandalism is 0.6. Finish him. Again, we get 40%. Yeah. Fox and flower. Fox and flower. Fox and flower. And then that raises an important question. Is it worth it to park illegally? You're going to have to wait for next week's math question. This one time in math class, real stories from the classroom.